Hey you guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of Siege Showcase. So per usual with these sorts of things, what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to hit the F3 menu, and as you can see, uh, you can see the seed and the spawn point and all that. Uh, this actually is the spawn point for the map. I don't think I could have perfectly landed myself on 232.5 on both the X and Z axis. That would have been kind of, um, that would have been kind of weird to be able to walk exactly to that spot, but uh, rest assured, this is exactly where the map spawns and it's kind of interesting that it is exactly 232.5 on both accesses so that's something that I wanted to bring up that was kind of neato but anyways moving on here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the F3 menu and show you guys what this map is made of now uh, just so you don't think I'm showing you guys a random map of the forest there is an awesome mountain behind me that I'm going to be getting to here in just a moment but if you're playing this on creative or adventure just um just be wary that you uh, you look this way when you spawn. And you want to head off a little bit forward and then to the left here. Now you might think, oh, it's just a ravine. Well, this ain't no ordinary ravine. Don't, don't judge a ravine by the way it looks on the outside. In this particular case, you want to judge it by what is on the inside. And what is on the inside is a tree. Like, I've never seen a tree spawn inside of a, of a ravine before. That's kind of weird. But I need to get myself a diamond sword here because there are cows on the inside of here too. As you can see and they spawn inside of here which is kind of just weird like i mean these cows really don't have very sustainable live uh lives i don't even know what i'm saying right now they don't have a very sustainable life because i mean what are they going to do be forced to eat eat each other or something i just don't see that working out so i'm going to put them out of their misery right now and i need i still need to make my cow killing montage anyways as soon as i figure out how to properly format it and all that then uh, i will be working on that as soon as possible but anyways moving on here so as you can see with this ravine if we take a look through it uh it gets really wide open oh Oh, what's that over there? Yeah, you can see those. This is the ravine right here. It sort of lines this way and then it hooks around that way into a really nice looking cave system, I might add. Um, but I'm not going to go exploring it right now. I'm going to allow you guys to do that if you decide to check the seed out for yourself. And as well, there's this really big, I mean, even in just a regular cave, this would be expansive. Like, let me just come down to the ground here. And if you were exploring a cave and you found something this big, I mean, in and of itself would be magnificent. And just to have a ravine cutting into it, it really only adds to the fun of the map. And one more thing I'm going to show you with this map is uh, you can see from sky level or you can see sky level and uh, bedrock level well lava level which is the 10th 10th uh, layer in the earth which is right about where diamonds uh, spawn and getting out of the fire there. Uh, there we go. There's a diamond right there. If you want to do a speed run for diamonds, uh, there's a spot where you can get diamonds at. And I'm not sure if there's any more nearby. I haven't taken too much of a look, and I'm not going to in this video. Once again, I'm going to let you guys do that for yourselves. But anyways, moving on here, let's go ahead and let's get out of the ravine. And if you guys want to see any more of the ravine, be sure to check out the seed for yourselves. Um, and yeah. So one thing that I like about this map in comparison to a lot of other maps is that the wide variety of biomes... Now now what you're going to notice, at least in uh, at least for me, is that the grass color for me is all the same because I don't like the sort of dead grass look that most of Minecraft has these days. It sort of has like this tealish color. Like right now, if I were to have the default texture pack on, the grass would match the tree leaf color, and I just don't like that. To me, that just doesn't look natural in any way, um, or either that, or it just doesn't look appealing to look at. So that's just something to keep in mind. But um, aside from that, it really does have a wide variety of stuff. So let's, uh, as you can see here, there is a mountain biome and there are trees strewn all about it from, from the biomes that are next to it, which is kind of nifty. So first off, I'm going to head into the mountain biome here and there is a snow biome over there right next to the forest biome, right next to the mountain biome. There's just a whole bunch of stuff here that's worth looking at. And this tree, this tree, just the only thing that I can say to this tree is why? Why do you exist? Oh my God. It's craziness but moving through here like you can see that there is some really awesome looking terrain um i think there's some lava over there there's something that i wanted to show you guys i'm not really sure what it was looks like some sand collapsed right here which probably leads into another cave system uh perhaps not at least as far as i know when i checked this map uh there were not really that many caves that were around this area but look at this just again why 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 floating water just just why that's all i can really say to this um, oh yeah, the one thing that I wanted to show you, I, I believe is up and over the hill here, which is kind of just random. I mean, you can see like there's a sort of like, 
uh, I don't know, like a crater in the earth almost. I mean, it seems like that's what it would be if like a crater were to, cr if, if something were to crash land right here, it would create a crater this big. But then like the ocean area, and by the way, there is an ocean biome over there. <laughs> yeah, talking. speaking of more biomes. Um, it just sort of comes in and cuts us off as if this spawned first, then the water area spawned afterwards, which I guess from a coding standpoint would make a lot of sense. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So let's just take a look a bit more of a, you know, a closer look through this mountain biome. It's really quite magnificent, I would say. I mean, there's not a whole lot more I can say other than that. Um, except, you know, you can like go through the hills here. It's just really just, it's got some really weird placement for, you know, the, the holes that go through the hills here. And yeah. So, all right. Whoa, what is this? Is that ice down there? Okay, no. I, for a second, I thought that was ice, but it's actually sand that's just underneath there. But yeah, so as, as you guys have seen so far with the seed, like there are a lot of biomes that, you know, you got the snow biome, you got the mountain biome. I think there's a plains biome uh, within the mountain biome here. As you can see, the mountain biome just kind of never ends. I mean, you know, I was way, way, way up over the hill at one at, uh at a point just a few minutes ago and now I'm just way over here I'm just getting trapped I'm getting lost if you were exploring this it would almost probably feel like you were exploring it to no end which honestly is not a bad thing when it comes to seeds on a map and then uh, getting back here to the snow biome yeah see this is all new terrain that I'm spawning right here it's got some like and a lot of this I haven't quite seen yet like I've taken you know a brief look through the map just to see if it was something that I would be satisfied with for a seed showcase and honestly I am very very satisfied with this map and yeah you can see like within the mountain biomes there's a lot of flat areas uh, okay so yeah swamp biome right there you got a desert biome over there and I believe there's one area even in the map where like the ground level went almost all the way up to uh, sky, level, uh, sky limit. I think it might have been this area over here. I'm not really too sure. No, it's over there, I think. Um, yeah, not 100% not sure. But I know that there was like a really big plateau of land that had that was pretty much at sky level for the entire time. There was no... Uh, for the entire time. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Let me see if this was it. Yeah, this was it right here. Just It's just amazing how high up these mountains go. Just imagine if like I was using the the dynamic blocks mod or something like that in order to spawn these even higher. But just something to note before you guys start requesting that. I do seed showcases with the dynamic blocks mod. Is that uh, they use a completely different spawn code. So it's not something that would really be worth it. But yeah, I highly encourage you guys to check out the seed. Um, it's got a lot to offer and definitely if it's something that you decide to just straight up explore, then I'm guessing you'd probably end up finding quite a bit. And it, also something to note as well, uh, when I looked at this through an x-ray texture pack, uh, if I remember correctly, I ended up seeing quite a few dungeons underneath. Though I don't remember seeing like a stronghold or anything like that spawning right, you know, right nearby the spawn point. Because that would just take this, take this seed to like level, you know, to Mach 12 or something like that. And I've never judged anything like this in terms of Mach speeds, but there you go. What is this? I'm just not I'm just not even going to bother. I'm going to let you guys check this out for yourselves. So anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this particular video. Uh, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.